The following is a presentation of the Horseman Wrestling Association. It is copyrighted for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the show without the HWA's consent is prohibited. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to HWA Right in the Teeth V3. Tonight, the leaders of the Empire go head-to-head -head as Chaz Segner takes on Keys Carranza for the Manager's Championship. You'll also see Maggie Skookumchuk defend her television championship against Masato Mayhem, Special Delivery and Stone Cold Crazy return for tag team action, and much more. It's gonna blow you away like a thermonuclear suppository. Preparation H-bomb! Don't go anywhere! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to where the hell are we at? We're at the, oh, the Yinzer Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, of course, the uh, somewhat close to home of the HWA. Coming down right now, we've got two guys who uh, well, they like shaking their packages. That's because they're special delivery. <laughs> uh, you can shake their package, too, if you really want to. I personally would like to keep my hands away from them, as well as their manager, Mr. Fugu. But let's go ahead and talk about what the, when was the last time we saw them. It was back at the end of the reboot era. Uh, just before the pay-per-view, where uh, Vic performed the Taint Nothing on Manus Nutsack. And the pin, uh, it's broken up by Lance Butkus uh, with, with, a, with his drop kick. Now, the, uh, the Nuts and Butts, they, they were just fantastic. They ended up winning that match. But uh, still, there was, a, there was a good effort by these two, the, the special delivery. Let's have a look at it. Well, it ain't brought to us. We're not brought to you by Gaslight, so fuck it. And now another stomp to the right to the, uh, the, the gallbladder there, I think. And now here comes a take nothing but a thing. It says, eat my take nutsack. He's going to eat nutsack. And now there's a pin. There's one. And two, another. Two, got a drop kick by, by Lance. That's them, ladies and gentlemen. That is Special Delivery, otherwise known as Vivacious Vic Vulgar and Big Dick Gazinia. So... With that, uh, we got our their, their opponents coming down. Now, are their opponents? You've seen many, many times together, uh, and uh, you gotta you gotta enjoy the the energy. The, <laughs> these guys, they are stone cold motherfucking crazy. That is Fritz von Stone and El Loco, and we saw them uh, even long. It's been a long time since we've seen them. Probably about almost about a year. But El Loco, uh, he he receives these. What is the snot squeezer? <laughs> He, uh, he he got hit by that whatever that is. They were oh, they were they were wrestling the, the nosebleeds, of course. Uh, but uh, they were able to kick out of that and uh, the, uh, the subsequent pin. Uh, no win for them, uh, but they they, they, they did uh, hold tight at least on this move. Have a look at it. It's gonna be a tag. It's gonna be a tag. Smart move there. Smart move. It's gonna be a tag effort. What do they got for him? Let's go. He's hanging him out to dry. What's this gonna be? Oh, double boots coming in there. Oh, that's the that's not the, the uh the, the snot squeezer, I'll call that. Why not? And now there's a pin, there's one, there's two! Oh, he kicks out, just barely kicks out, and Fritz is trying to help out, but Maxi Pat's all over him. Jesus Christ, folks, that's pandemonium here. That's them, ladies and gentlemen. That is Stone Cold Crazy, Fritz von Stone, and El Loco. And uh, this tag team match, of course, mixing up. The singles participants, so we're enjoying uh, watching them and getting them back into the swing of things here as, as a tag team. And, oh, we're off and running. And they're meeting up in the middle there. And it looks like, oh, see, sick. Big Dick just slaps a logo right in the back of the head. No, he does it again. What is, it? what is he, a teacher in the public schools of, of uh, Pittsburgh? Right there is a, a shoulder charge knocking a loco off. And a quick tag. Good, good, good tag and starting off here for the special delivery. Not the, the well, special delivery. Not the. Well, sometimes they, you ever notice, like when you go to see a band, it's like they always put a the. It's like the Smashing Pumpkins. No, it's just Smashing Pumpkins. Would you have to fucking say it right, you dickhead? Oh, well, there's a pin. There's one. No, it was, <laughs> it was too early. That, that wasn't going to happen. But uh, as we watch, getting ready. Oh, it's picking picking El Loco up by the head, and kind of grind it in there with this little thing there. And now a side. Oh, side leg or backdrop on the leg, and just kind of showing off right in front of him. Total disrespect. Oh, good. There's some disrespect for you. He comes out straight on his ass. And now El Loco. El Loco coming in with a forearm. Tight. No, knocking him straight down. I thought a little more effort there, but uh, he had the heel up behind that. Now Fritz comes in. <laughs> Watch out, Aaron. <laughs> he comes flying out. He kicked you in the head. And now he just slaps and chops and punches, but the punch missed. And now, oh, we're going to the corner there. Fritz, Fritz taking another swing and misses. He's got to have some depth perception problems here. As long as, as, long as he's not my proctologist. You know? <laughs> 
Proctologist with poor depth perception is not, nothing you want anything to do with. Oh, here comes oh, DDT. DDT, DDT uh, for Chuck Ross. And a quick pin by Vic. There's one. Oh, no, kicks out. And, of course, I have to mention our referee is Cam Zamuda, who uh, he took a pounding the other <laughs> the, the, the first show that we had there, didn't he? I think somebody popped him. But now, oh, Dragon Dragon fronts over to the, to the bad corner for them. And don't oh, kind of grabbing him. More, oh, more here. More banging his head off the turnbuckle. And now, oh, cut. A fist coming down. Just Now just punching away. Just It's all fisticuffs here. Two. Three. Oh, not even going to get three. No, Fritz shoves him off. Let's shove off, fucker. <laughs> and now, oh, he's got him by his nose and gouging the eyes and the nose. How, gouging the nose? You, you can gouge the nose. You can do that. Oh, big backdrop there. Suplex by, not a backdrop, suplex by Fritz. And now Fritz taking a moment to show off. Something uh, he's, oh, and then and, and doing so. Uh, they got a tag, and then you better look behind him. It comes around, it spins around just in time, but oh, now I got a choke, a big choke by. Sorry if I was blocking my mic, I'm about, about to take a drink. Ha, ah, there we go. Now I got to straw some quicker at that. Now with a big knee. And now it's, every, everybody's showing off. Everybody's showing off and, and getting letting the tags happen. What is going on here? At least they haven't attacked the managers. I think they fixed that problem. <laughs> but now picked up and oh, a big atomic drop right on, right on the spine of El Loco. And now, oh, just stomp in the face. Yeah, that's not subtle. And there's a pin. There's one. Nope, not, not only going to get one count out of that. Fritz still got a lot of, or not Fritz, uh, El Loco. Still with a lot of power left. Kind of laying there, taking advantage while the tag is made. Still laying there. Is he dead? Oh, no, he got... <laughs> Was that kick out just electricity? And now with an elbow coming in. Yeah, and a kick to the, kick to the uh, thigh. And more kicks to the thigh. Try, trying to cause that Charlie horse. And now, uh, the scissor throw right on Vic. And El Loco, El Loco not going for a tag. Thought he was. And a kick. And now, oh, it's, a, oh, it's the Bueno bomb. Uh, El Loco says it's Bueno! It's, <laughs> sorry, I blew the mic. And now, there's a pin. No, oh, it's got to be a rope break. Yes, the foot is, in fact, very close to the rope. It's practically under the rope. So uh, he calls He calls for the rope break. I'm not a big fan of rope breaks, in case I haven't made that clear. But now a tag is made. And just kind of whips him. Oh, double teaming. Oh, a hair snap. And a kick to the back. So it's a little double team move there by, by Fritz uh, by Fritz and El Loco. Now rolled over. It was going for a quick pin here. A little scavenger pin, if you ask me. There's one. Oh, no. Big dick comes in, smashing on down uh, for, for, for Fritz. Now Fritz, oh, El Loco, I'm sorry, uh, Big Dick going over. So now a, a chance for a, a, a kind of an opportunist, opportunistic thing here. And oh, wow, it's just spun over and landed on the knee and a quick pin by by Vic. There's one. Only going to get a one count. Fritz, Fritz is still very fresh. And now he's got a kick to the back. Oh, we're going to see some high flying action here. Vic going up. And there comes a Big Dick back. Ah, big, big leg drop across the face right there. I thought... I thought he missed, but he kind of kind of spun him into place. There's a lot of oil all over the mat from these greasy wrestlers peeing all over. I, I don't mean that way. I, I, I know El Loco. No, don't, don't, don't even go there. Don't even go. He's a beaner, by the way. Oh, oh big elbow drop. <laughs> Before we get cut off the air, big elbow drop by Big Dick. <laughs> and now he's got, got the arm in position. Oh, just stomping on the fingers. End up trying to break the pinky. He's, he's going to give him a stinky pinky. And now for a pin. There's one. No, not that. <laughs> Stinky Pinky is something completely different. Let me go ahead and scratch that. <laughs> uh, Big Dick now celebrating once again, but no tag being made because Fritz is on the ground and in trouble. So tag, but there, there is a tag made by Vic. Other team. <laughs> now Fritz back up. Oh, Fritz, uh, Fritz was doing a little shuffle dance. They're trying to get ready for his hands of stone, but nope, you got you to gotta have the guy off, the, off kilter for that. And now picked up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Great, they broke his back. He shattered his back on the floor. And now coming back in for a tag. Another tag made. Who's the legal guy? I guess it's Fritz. <laughs> so now just well, while Fritz is not in the ring, he's just gonna stand around and show off. Enough showing up. More half the half the damn match has been showing up. And he grabs El Loco, he punches El Loco. Look at this. And now we got an attack on Mr. Fugu. And Fugu's going to the stairs. Oh my god. We it's starting all over again. And now what is this? Oh, get, get picking up and stinging that knee on the on the hard floor. And Fritz, Fritz taking care of, of uh, the Fugu. Oh big chop to Fugu. And the, the, the Big Dick doesn't know what's going on. He's got to try to get around there and save his manager. And now, a uh, picked up and slammed. He slammed Fogo. It's Fogo. 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 <laughs> no, he's down. Ah, more punches to El Loco. More shenanigans. So many shenanigans in these in these manager, managed tag team matches. And now, what's this going to be? It's going to be the Catwalk Crippler. Or is that just CR likes to call it just a, a regular? And you got to do the rope break. Did he, touch, did he touch the rope? I think he did. They calls the rope break on that one. 
And Fugu, Fugu now going at the audience. There's one, there's two. There's three. There's three special delivery is beating Fritz and El Loco here. Oh my, that was a, that was a quick one. He, he didn't have that uh, that crippler on very long, and apparently it was enough to really just jar that knee. And now here we got the Vaseline cam again. That's lovely. Okay, you guys want to wipe that shit off after you use it for your porn, or your home porn, please? All right. It's not, it's not like Pornhub doesn't have enough of that shit. And more Vaseline. Another Vaseline cam. Jesus Christ. Clean up this shit whenever you... That was a pin, I think. And now, okay, there was a view that we actually would have seen, but it was decided to cut it short. I swear, we got to fire these guys. These fucking camera people are just, are just fucking sick. They're, they're incompetent. And yes, I said that. Yes, I said Because you guys are. Don't give me that through there. I'm try, trying to talk here. Let me talk to the crowd, okay? I'm the announcer. I do the talk. You shut the fuck up. So anyway, there's the team of uh, the special delivery. Got a win here this time uh, to make up for their loss last time. And when we come back, as I shuffle the papers around, you can probably hear that. Uh, we got the Falls Count Anywhere match. Hopefully Falls Count Anywhere uh, with Lance Butkus and Rubber Duck. Let's uh, cut away here. And when we come back, we'll have that action for you. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Yinzer Arena here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And coming down right now is a guy who just would love for you to kiss his ass. And he's uh, basically said that to the entire organization at one time or another. But it is Lance Butkus. And uh, the Falls Count Anywhere match precludes the manager, so they'll be staying backstage. But we saw Lance Butkus in an exhibition match uh, just a couple weeks ago. And uh, he was irate with the count. Uh, this, yeah, here's what I was talking about, the, our new referee getting punched. Uh, Lance Butkus punches the referee, uh, Cam Zamuda, in the face after his loss to Big Dick. Have a look at it. Uh, oh, maybe he wasn't ready. Maybe he just got stunned. And we're going to, not again, not again. We have this, that. Y'all punch that right from the ref. Another lawsuit there. For punching Cam Win Cam not Cam Winston Cam Winston no that was from Frazier that was uh, Cam Zamuda that's him ladies and gentlemen Lance Butkus is that a tattoo I think we've established that's a necklace it was a very sticky one <laughs> and it sticks he's very sticky too even though he's oily he's oily and sticky how, how can somebody pull that off I have no idea I think it's against physics but uh, he does it but anyway here's here's a here's a complete mockery of physics in in every way shape and form <laughs> and he's very sticky folks. Uh, yeah, CRBO to tell you that, but it is the rubber duck, and we saw the rubber duck in a four-way table elimination match. Uh, he gets suplexed through the table by Bones McIntyre, uh, eliminates him from the match. I believe the duck was the first to go in that one, and uh, he didn't last very long. So uh, maybe maybe he'll do a little better this time. But uh, for now, we're gonna have a look at that. <laughs> How he didn't knock that thing over? Uh -oh. Uh oh, this could be it. For Nigel, oh, there's no, the duck. The, the, the duck is done. He stole, he stole it for third pounds. Uh, stole that right away from uh, Maxi Pad using the table before he could. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. The ever flamboyant, ever uh, uh, energetic, and uh, ever disgusting rubber duck. <laughs> so there he is. And there's him. And there's him. And there's him and her. And her. And he's back there. And there's him and her. And oh, sorry. We're, we're announcing the match now. <laughs> Starting things off. Oh, Robert Duck starting off strong on Lance. Picking him up and slamming him. Uh, gut slam across the knee there. And now, oh, we're going to the ropes. Going over the ropes. And down, tumbling he goes. All right. Hey, we're outside the ring. Hey, it's a, it's a false gun anywhere match. And there comes the referee. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Now, what is this? It's kind of a sharpshooter there. The, the duck shooter, you might call it. And he's, he's, he's not giving up. He's kind of he's kind of limp, actually. He's even awake. Oh, strength with the, of his legs. Flips the duck out of it. And now the duck, duck coming in with a, the, 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 pun, the wing punches. The chip's going to make everything duck related for this one. <laughs> and now punches, oh, punches. He's trying, boxing his ears. It boxes, it was, I heard a joke something like that. It was like a psychotic family that were boxing ears. Only they were cutting their ears off and putting them in a box or something like that. Was that Adam's family? No, that's a little too gruesome for Adam's family. We're punching in the ears here. He's not going to be happy until that thing cauliflower's right up. They mix it with some broccoli, throw some cheese on that son bitch. And now, some bitch. <laughs> oh, a roundhouse kick that got there. And a quick pin. I don't know if that's going to do it. It takes forever to come around. There's one. Oh, no, almost got a two count out of that. If he, if he had been a little closer, I still think that would have uh, ended uh, before the three count. And now a little guy, eye gouge there on the duck. Lance taking it. Oh, drops, drops him on the gut. The duck gut. Now, looking out. What does it got for him? Oh, he dropped a knee on something. <laughs> I can't see it. Regardless, I'm now elbows to the collarbone. Boom, number three. Third time's the charm, I think he used to call it. That was back in the day. God damn. I remember that one. And now a knee drop on the elbow. 
was really working the duck over out, outside on these joints, and now just a punch by the duck. And I'll oh, punch it, punch to the uh, to the ribs there, the lungs, the kidney area, and now go for another punch. But no, out of the way is, is Lance, and now Lance driving back with them more punches. What punches against the is that, <laughs> that kid with the uh, is that a is that a hat or is that his hair? Oh, taking the duck out to drive. The duck just went through. And the duck is is going through the audience member. That's got to be a, an interesting experience for you. <laughs> try, try explaining that to your mom. <laughs> now working on the knee. <laughs> clipping, folks. It's called clipping. That's when so you know what it is. I don't even tell you. Oh, God, the duck goes went here head first into the barricade, I think. And now, this spent a lot of time outside. I'm actually happy this match. <laughs> Dropping the knee on the elbow. And now Lance picking the duck back up. And more punches. He's, he's, he's tenderizing that duck. Oh, flips the duck over. I've eaten duck before. It could use some tenderizing, actually. Use some flavor, too. This stuff is bland as shit. Oh, a, a throw with the arm. And now a pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's three. Lance Butkus taking care of that duck here with many punches and a final arm throw. Let's have a look at it again. I'd have to say all the action was outside. That's, that's, that's good. <laughs> things are perking up for the... Okay. I was going to say things are perking up. But apparently the camera just decides it wants to watch the fucking ring post. Even though there's action. Oh, now we see the action. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, there's, there's more. Okay, so we got two angles from it, even though we were just spent a half hour looking at the ring post. And there was a count. We can't see the count. So the problem with these uh, goddamn uh, false gun anywhere matches that the, it confuses the camera. The, the camera is built for following things action inside the ring, and I don't think they've calibrated it right. I forgot it was a, it's an automatic camera. <laughs> I'm yelling at the guys. You guys went along with it, too. You, you're making me feel bad, you fucking dicks. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, there's Lance Butkus with the victory there. <laughs> yeah, we have fun here. Anyway, coming up right now is going to be the women's television title match. Maggie Skookum Chuck is going to be defending against Misato Mayhem. It's going to be a great one. Stick around. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to HWA Right in the Teeth here. V3 uh, Season 2. Uh, yeah, we're up to. That's right. This is the second show of Season 2. And we're coming at you for, of course, let me try that again. Coming at you from the Yinzer Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Got excited about that for a second. And like I say, hometown, uh, hometown area. They, come in, they, have, uh, they have wheeling. I love that they added wheeling to the list, but they still have an eye at Bethel Park. So, yeah, you do with what you got to. Coming down right now is Masato Mayhem, uh, coached, of course, by uh, the Chess Edgar, none other than Chess Edgar, who we will also see in action wrestling tonight. So that should be very interesting. Uh, but Masato, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Maggie Scoop, sorry, Masato Mayhem was right the first time, goddammit. Never second guess yourself. Uh, she was in a mixed gender match here. She gives the Shanghai Stomp a brutal one to Geisha Genji and uh, pins for that victory. This is a pay per view, so Chuck Cross, you'll hear him too. So let's have a look at that. Oh, she, gets oh, a, she hits this, it's over. It might be the ref's table. Oh, that. Oh, Christ for God's sake. Oh, that's a uterine her bruise. Her intestines just came out of her anus. There's one, there's two. There's there it three. is. It's not even solid one. Saul has finally won a match, even though he was just uh, slightly in part of it. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. That is Masato Mayhem. Making sure I separate uh, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Never mind, it's behind the scenes stuff. But uh, I, I got to make sure I leave a little pause in there between this and that. And, you know, the other. Okay, the, do it. The other? No, the other doesn't need it. Just this and that. Coming down right now. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. It is Maggie Skookum Chuck. I'm talking about her. Hey, bucket ass. Yeah, that's her. And behind her, of course, is Aaron Varhola. She is the uh, women's television title holder, and we saw her get that when she performs the Well Digger on the newcomer Mary Jane Blunt and pins for the title victory. Have a look at it. Oh, yeah, the well, she actually put a new move in her repertoire called the Well Digger, which is, and I, oh, she's going for it too. Oh my oh, God. Oh no, grab That's her a lovely ass. There she is. Oh, <laughs> Christ, there's down. Just pile driver right on top of her head. Just this could dug, be it. Dug that well, and I think she did it well. There's one, there's two. There's three, oh, it's over. God's sake, God damn West Coast Alliance wins a belt. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. That is Bucket. I mean, that is uh, Maggie Skookum Chuck. Don't let her tell you. I mean, she, she's already beaten uh, uh, CR. She, she caught up with him backstage one time. Beat him about the head and shoulders and the testicles, I think. Uh, I wasn't sure. I couldn't see. Uh, she was, uh, her big body was in the way. But uh, regardless, uh, she is uh, ready to defend that belt. The beautiful uh, new blue belt. Of course, Maggie, Maggie, or sorry, <laughs> Misato. Too many M's in the HWA, folks. Misato Mayhem. Maggie Skookum Chuck with that beautiful blue belt. That brand new. 
Shiny hasn't been scuffed up yet. That doesn't smell like anybody yet. Actually, the women don't smell bad. It's the guys' belts. When the rubber duck holds the belt, you, you just don't want it afterwards. You don't want to take the belt from them because it needs fumigated. Anyway, uh, we match it up here. Oh, here we got, and uh, we got a picked up. Oh, picked up a hot shot uh, on the top, top rope there by Maggie on Masato. Uh, picking her up by the pigtails. And we're grabbing. And it looks like it's going to be suplex. Oh, a nice suplex. Nice uh, roundabout there right over the top. And now, oh, we're going back. Oh, no, she's going up. Oh, a little high flying bucket ass here for you. What's this going to be? Oh, Jesus Christ. The whole body landed on her. She went for an elbow, but instead of going across the body, she just went down on it. Oh, God. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> that's a, That sounded pretty good, actually. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Uh, anyway, oh, we got a pin here by Masato. She did something. That was a uh, one, two. Oh, she's got a sneaky pin there. With three. Yes, we heard you. <laughs> it's, the, it's the return of the tots, Tootsie Pop Owl. But uh, what was I saying? I don't know. I forget. <laughs> you should move so fast here. You can't really keep track. What is this? Oh, oh my God. I thought she was going to make a move off over the top rope. It just kind of jumped on her, on her shin, really. And now just a boot to the midsection. And now stomping away on the hip. And we're going to be working her. Trying to get a submission here. We're not going to get a submission outside, but definitely, uh, as you've seen, these submissions go go a long way in uh, in softening somebody up. That let, let, was it. That last match? No, not the last match. It was the first one. Uh, was the, uh, the special delivery with the with the uh, camp, with uh, fine with the figure four. <laughs> the catwalk crippler. Come on, it sounds so much better. But uh, anyway, coming. Oh, just kind of bouncing, kind of shin off the off the step there. But no, comes around with an elbow on Masato, and now oh, a kick to the face. Boot to the head. And now it's, oh my God, look at that. The, the, a rainbow shot, the arching rainbow suplex to the hard floor. And now, oh God, she kicked her, in, kicked her in the cha-cha. Oh God, she slaps her. She bounces her head off the table too. Uh, Maggie having a problem here with, with, with both of the wrestler and the inan inan inanimate objects. That's hard to say. You ever try to say that word fast? Inanim inan <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Inanimate. I'm not saying it fast. I can't say it fast. That should be apparent. Uh, now Maggie on the outside. Up. Oh, uh, Masato going in, going out, and now going up. Going up. What's this? Oh my God. What is this going to be? What the hell is she going to try to pull on her? When, when she's flying, you're dying. Now it's. Oh, she got caught. She got caught on the head, slammed down her shit, head breaking off the stairs. Holy shit. Oh my God, folks. That's that's insane. She got to shake off the cobwebs after that one. Good thing she got some thick hair. You got a little cushioning there, but Jesus Christ, Saul is solid to flip out. Saul's like, my honey, my my honey. I can't do it. <laughs> we got the guy who does Saul do it. <laughs> yes, it's an actor. Oh my God! It's right on the concrete, just grating the grating it across the floor. I know it looks like padding. It's just painted concrete, really. <laughs> and it's it's unforgiving, folks. Unforgiving. Now we're all back in Masato. Masato got to shake off the webs here now. Chaz is rather cool about it. He's not worried about it. He says, there's a belt at stake here. I'm going to be managing this. And now, oh, down she goes. She got the hay baler. That could be it. No, 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 Chaz. Chaz coming up. We haven't seen Chaz being dirty much. Where's, where's, where, where's she yelling? Chaz is over there, honey. <laughs> ah, big drop kick knocks her, takes her right out of her boots. Almost out of her boots. Her, her foot was up on the rope. And now, kick to the, kick to the spine. And now, oh, Masato just, just did a little, uh, well, something, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know what that was. But now, uh, stomping on the elbow, and now going over. Oh, going up. If, if this is it. Oh, just a big splash. That major splash. Oh, hurt herself, too. Well, bo both both wrestlers hurt on that one. Now, stick with the Shanghai stomp. You want to you wanna hurt your, your opponent, not yourself. Now, dragged out. Goes for a pin here. Will this be it? There's one. There's two. No, oh, kick out, kick out. That's, uh, got to go for the big one there, Misato, if you want it. If you want it bad enough. Jazz, Jazz looking cool as a cucumber out there. Uh, as I say, uh, normally, normally we'd have uh, the uh, the Saul, Saul Goldberg out here managing uh, for Masato Mayhem, but uh, this since this is a title match, uh, Chaz likes to be rather hands on. Speaking of hands on, here's hands down. It's going to be the slow boat to China. No, she's punching her. She's trying to break free, and now it turns around. What is this? She's oh, I'm going to smell that. My God, <laughs> it's a power bomb. Oh, I'd be enjoying that too much. There's a blue ring around her. Now, what is this? Off the reps, going around, going chess is distracting. Now, Jesus Christ, a hurricane spin. That a hurricane run out, something, scissor throw. I don't even know what it is, folks. It's just a lot of shit going on. And now, in a clutch here, going to try to get that submission. Chaz says, yeah, baby, get it. Get, get, crank that neck. Crank that jaw. With the back, everything. Just make it all hurt. 
Make it all hurts so good. Now finally gets spun out there. Locked up once again, but slapped away and a roundhouse boot to the, to the ribs. She's, oh, she's hurting after that one. That, that did her. That, that, that could have done her in. And now just another stomp. Jesus, no mercy on these ribs. And now she's going up. If she goes for this, if she goes for the Shanghai stomp, this could be it. Oh, she does! Right on the uterus! Oh my god, almost blew her chatch out like a party favor. And there's a pin, there's one. There's three! Sorry, I didn't see the guy. It was a three count. We got a new champion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm getting too old for this. I can't keep up with it. Somebody, somebody give me a wheelchair and a, and a, a Hummer or something. <laughs> And I'm not talking about the car either. <laughs> nah, just a wheelchair and a nice, uh, nice tie stick would be would, would be fine for me. Uh, and a bottle of wine, of course. Have have the that ready. But uh, we saw saw her dragging so, dragging her out and going for a pin there. I don't know why that was all that important, but no, apparently it wasn't. Oh, then that's because they the, the slow boat to try to I'll check this out. It's, it's you're not going to check it out. What the? Okay, now you guys up in the booth. You guys are controlling the replays. I know that shit. I know you're controlling that and the distance and everything. Yeah, the cameras are doing their job. Okay, they, they, I, I, I almost I felt bad for you for a second, but no, fuck you. You guys gotta gotta step it up. But there's your new champion. All right, I'll, I'll move on for now. Uh, new champion with that that uh, electric blue belt. It is Masato Mayhem, your new women's television champion. And oh, shaking it down. <laughs> she likes to shake her booty with that. Uh, look at that. Oh, she's a cutie. <laughs> Good luck to you. Good saw. Yeah, you saw that. That was, a, that was a hell of a catch. Anyway, let's move on. We're going to have uh, another match coming up here. It's going to be the four-way elimination chamber match, which is also an HWC Horseman World Championship bid match. So with that, this is the Annual Network. Reminding you to always wear a condom and swallow before you slobber all over the place. <laughs> Come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, here at the Yinzer Arena, downtown, where they washed their clothes and, and that. <laughs> it's a Pittsburgh thing, folks. Coming down right now is Concrete, uh, who is, uh, oh, he's actually, uh, he, he was the, the the loser of the belt at the pay-per-view, and uh, this gives him an opportunity for, for a rare rematch. We very rarely see rematches here in the HWA, but he does have an opportunity, we do want to say. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at that footage, the World Championship. He gives Katungi a stomping and a boot to the face, uh, but is unable to get more than the one count. He just he really wasn't ready for that match. Uh, did not win it. So uh, have a look at what he did do, and then uh, we'll, we'll play some other stuff. Now they're well, just a stomp I'll, away. I'll tell you what, so far it's been a good night for CSE. This will be the cherry on top, but I just don't know if Katungi has what it takes to be concrete, this savvy ring veteran. Oh, one, once again, grabbing. Oh, a little snap there. there. And, oh, oh right Fall to the face. You know, oh, there's a quick pin. There's one. Nope, oh, only going to get one. You know, Katungi makes most men look small. I, I just can't believe it. That's concrete, ladies and gentlemen. Charismatic, uh, the fan favorite, you might say. Well, a fan favorite. He's not a fan of uh, 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 CR. isn't a fan of him, of course, since he's, he is with the uh, West Coast Alliance. But coming down right now. Lurching, lur lur lurking, lurking, lurking and lurching. Fuck it. He's doing both. <laughs> He's a man of many talents. It is Bob Zombie. Uh, coached, of course, by Keys Carranza. Once again, backstage uh, with these four-way matches. But it is going to be uh, him uh, going up uh, was one of the four in, his, in this match. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, uh, we, well, we did see him in the uh, Inner Horseman title match. He, sh uh, he shoves El Loco off the top turnbuckle onto the floor, uh, uh, making him hit his head off the apron in the process. It was, uh, it was brutal, but it was uh, unfortunately uh, one of the few things he actually did in that match. <laughs> he, he was not ready for the, for the fury, the tornado, the Tasmanian devil that is El Loco. But have a look at what he did do. And now, uh, putting him up on a, on a pedestal. I mean, on the, on the turnbuckle. <laughs> Either way. Oh my god, he just shoves him down, he slams his head right on the apron, it goes crumbling down. And the El Loco comes crumbling down. That's him, ladies and gentlemen, that is Bob Zombie. Coming down to the theme of uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. One of my favorite movies. A lot of people like The Devil's Rejects better. Me, personally, I like uh, I like the, the, the uh, that one. Now, is The Three from Hell... <laughs> I know it's not movie chat. I'm just making conversation while he's coming down. Fine. I'll announce him, fuckers. Uh, Roadhouse Roy, who was uh, part of uh, Mr. Fugu's team, I believe. Is he? Fugu, yeah. Fugu, Fugu, Fugu. <laughs> For you, CR. Uh, he was uh, in the men's television title uh, battle here. He gives Fufu uh, the... <laughs> is this right? You got, who wrote this down? 
Uh, uh, he gives Bufu the prostate exam slam, but is only able to get a two count for the pin. No win for him. <laughs> you have a look. I'm going to have a look at it, too. i got to see this. Have a look. And both of these guys have amazing hair. It's a, it's a defiance of, uh, of gravity. And now just wait. Oh, he's, got, he's trying to get, put it, get in the fucking uh, uh, anal exam there with the fingers in the ass. He's slamming him down. It was a slam, but uh, I, don't know, I wouldn't be so worried about the slam as the guy had half his hand in my ass. And now we're on uh, Bufu over. And up with a pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, Bufu kicking out. That's it. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is. Uh, sorry, Roadhouse Roy. <laughs> that is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> little, you think we would have put a glove on first? But, oh my god, <laughs> that should be a regular move for him. That should be the regular move for the medics. <laughs> I'll have to make that. Make sure they uh, learn that that move and, and use it. Coming on right now, the bloodstained Max E Pad. Yes, I mean the bloodstained Maxi Pad. <laughs> I was going for. It's trying to avoid that that connotation, but. Uh, what are you going to do? He was uh, in a, another four-way match here recently, the four-way table elimination match. Uh, he launched Bones McIntyre into the corner table. I, I broke it. kind of lawn darted his ass. He broke it for the win. Have a look. The twisted metal just going everywhere and slamming him into the into the table. Oh, this could be it. He's he gets him up. up. He's got him. He's going to sail him like a He's dart. He's spearing him. It's a lawn dart. Oh, he did it. Does it. Oh, Jesus. God, that piece of metal went flying off into the crowd there. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Max E. Pad. Maxi pad. Yes, I know. It's uh, it rhymes with taxi cab. So, that, you like that? <laughs> Somebody just got the giggles when I said that. Anyway, that's the four. They are concrete. Uh, the, 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 the Bob Zombie Roadhouse and Max. And now starting off, Max. Oh, gonna we see a little close up here of R Roadhouse Roy working over concrete. Now more punches as uh, as <laughs> sorry, as Bob Zombie got slammed. Uh, but but stop, stop. <laughs> I'm talking too fast. I'm getting the hiccups. Now, oh, goes for a quick pin, but now a suplex by Bob Zombie on, on the pad. And now, oh, my God, just driving a full force of his feet right there. A lot of Fs in that. And now Concrete, Concrete's a tough, tough as steel coming back, and there was a slam, a slam and a slam all in one view there. Now tripping the legs out from under Bob. Uh, I'm not used to these matches, folks. Now just uh, driving the foot into, into Bob. And now going for a pin on Bob is Max, but <laughs> well, there's one. There's two, and now Bob kicks out. <laughs> he, had, he had to look through the feet of, uh, of uh, Roadhouse Roy. Right now, Roadhouse is getting a, a fist pounding by Concrete. And Bob got fist pounding over there on Bob by Max. A lot of fist pounding is going on here. Just grabs Concrete's head and spins him around. Goes for a drop kick. Did he get him? He got him on the way down, I think. Oh, it's not. We got a, we got a bloody Concrete here. There's blood on the Concrete. Somebody call the cops. No, they weren't doing any good. Uh, now we've got ac outside action here. Yeah, Bob. Oh, Bob just grabbing the leg and throwing pat pat into the steps. Now we got the uh, Roadhouse Roy working the knee of concrete and going around for oh move here, trying to stretch that chest out. Oh, guys, a chest popper he pulled on. I thought it was, it was a submission move. He just went right for it. Oh, but no, he, concrete slips out of the way before a stomp can happen. We got a chair here, folks. We got a chair. No, oh, but no, the chair's punched out of you know, Bob Zombie's hand. And now Bob Zombie with a suplex on the pad. Ah, oh, jeez. Now Bob's got the chair. Oh, better. Oh, I got him. Nailed him. Now the pad. I nailed him again. And that's, Jesus Christ, as he throws it aside, down comes Roadhouse Roy landing on top of it. Sweet, look at that chair. Look at that chair. Demolished. They're making cheaper chairs. They used to last longer in the HWA. And now as he just kind of rams Bob Zombie off of concrete, and now there's that suplex on the hard floor. And now concrete going under for something. Well, the other guys are trying to shake the cops right there, and it's batter up. Oh, another bat shot. Oh, to, to Roadhouse Roy, and another fourth shot. And, oh, did not even allow a fifth shot. I got to get that out of there. And concrete with a slam now. As, as Maxi Pad goes back in after doing something, Bob. And then say more more hits by, by, by concrete with the bat. And once again, he gets out. He batters him up. He knocks it out of the park. And Jesus, Jesus Christ, get the bat out of his hands. He's going to fucking kill him. Oh, he got right, out, right in the balls. Oh, he's, 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 it's a pinata once again. It's the, the scrotal pinata. And now oh, with a reversal. I'm not watching him. I can't watch it. It's disgusting. Oh, my God. It's, it's, he's still beating him with the fucking club. Get him. Oh, my God. He, he got him again. Oh, my God. There's a pin. There's some pin action. But right now, Concrete is just a man obsessed with destroying this Roadhouse Roy. Oh, my God. Somebody, thank you. Knocks the, the club out of his hand. Finally, how, what a beating he took. I don't know, see the bruises after that. Right now, we got in, in the, the pad, taking Zombie and just kind of throw, tr uh, trying to throw him. He's not all that strong. Now a pin. There's one. There's two, and Bob kicks out. Oh, my God. 
That was the most brutal bat beating I have ever seen in my life. And I watched the Rodney King video. Now, I know it's old. <laughs> it's very, very old, folks. For you, you young listeners, you're not going to know what the hell I was talking about, probably. But right now, we got the concrete. Concrete getting hit, head hit, hit on the concrete with another suplex outside as Pad shows off. And now, going to get Bob in the, uh, in the tor torture rack here. I don't know if that's going to work on Bob. Bob, uh, Bob. Bob's used to torture. I mean, he, he had you know, open sores all over his body. He used to take salt baths. Fucking sick, a sick motherfucker he was. Now with the, all I see is, oh, we got something here. Concrete picking. I guess it was. I don't know who's going down on him. <laughs> all of a sudden, this turns into an X-rated show here. <laughs> glad, we, glad we couldn't see that because of the mat. And now dropping for a snake eyes on the on the, uh, the turnbuckle of concrete. Whoops. No, concrete was out. It was in. It's going back out again. Uh, stomping away. And more stomping on Bob by Max. Oh, Jesus. This match. And now Concrete just got coming and pounding and already beaten uh, Roadhouse Roy. And now Roadhouse getting picked up. What's he going to do to him? Sweet Jesus. Oh, he just slips out of the, out of the position. Greg is Bob Zombie's going for the brain chomp. Num, 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 num. He's softening it up anyway. Did he bite it? I don't know if he bit it. Oh, Jesus. Bob's like, hey, hey, Roadhouse, you want to, you want some action? No, 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 he's out of there. <laughs> and now more beat. I think it would have been safer with Bob, actually. Right now, Concrete is just working. But over. And now, Pin, there's one. There's two. And now, a kick out. And now, Jesus God. He's just driving his spine under the, the stairs. He's not going to be happy until he cripples him. I swear to God. Concrete is just malicious right now. He's on fire. And now, Bob. Uh, Bob going in for the brain scrambler here. He softened it. Now he's going to scramble it. He's down, and here it comes. Yeah, down, right in the head, and down pad goes. And Concrete still working him over. There's a pin. This might be one. There's one. There's two. There's three, and we have one eliminated. So Maxi Pad will not get a shot at the World Championship. And now Bob going out. Bob's going after. Or is it, he's going after. He's not going after anybody. He's walking away. As, as uh, Roadhouse Roy tries to get some, some semblance of, of revenge here on Concrete. And now oh, Con he's going to get some help here. Concrete now stomping on the thigh. And no oh, elbow drop, it misses. And now we got oh, kind of a double team here on Bob. What is that? Get gouged in the eyes of Concrete. Concrete now having to, having to work over Bob. What, what the fuck is <laughs> Right outside, oh, just kind of throws Bob. What, what strength into the, into the turnbuckle pad? Right there, yeah, or into the turnbuckle. No, I mean into the post, I mean. It's just something for fucking hard that he hit. He, he wouldn't know what it is. I think he's uh, just getting beaten all over the place right now by these two. Uh, but as, oh, head back to the back of the head and down he goes. But Concrete's more. And uh, he, he, Roadhouse Roy's ready for it. Roy now, grabbing. And <laughs> just kind of tripped over tripped over Bob and landed. And now kicked to the, to the thighs. Ah, it's a boot to the head. And a bloody Concrete hits the hits this concrete. And it's cement. cement. No, it's concrete. What's the difference between cement and concrete? I did, they're basically the same shit, ain't they? Aren't they? <laughs> yeah, she caught me. I said it. Ah, big suplex on the hard floor by con on uh, by concrete uh, on concrete by Bob, and now Bob's getting the forearm that knocks his his block off. Now uh, tangling up here, Rodas Roy's are on fire for the beating he took. He is still a man obsessed with getting this, this title shot. Now he's going to get a, a, a shot with the damn post. And once again, oh no, he still shoves away. He still has the presence of mind. I don't know what is that. He's got to have like metal plates in his head to keep him, or cushions around his brain or something. Right there's another shot off the post. Concrete picks him up again. And Bob now, Bob taking concrete and throwing him. Jesus Christ, rolling him halfway up the, up the, <laughs> thank you for the spotlight. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's concrete. It's gone. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Ah, oh, yeah, he tried for something on concrete, but concrete was running an elbow. Still working him over. Bob, just stay back. Wait till, wait till he finishes off this one guy, and then you can take him. And, oh, God. Get off the, off the, the barricade. Now, Concrete eyeing up Bob. What's he want? Oh, now he's, he's going in. Going to be Bob and Concrete now. Well, well uh, Roadhouse takes a rest. And picked up. Oh, what is this going to be? It's the cement mixer. He, oh, he does it right there. And a pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. Bob is knocked out. Mama said knock you out. Mama said knock Bob out, and he's out. <laughs> now, tangling up these two, who, who have been the story of the match so far, just absolutely brutal with each other. And that's a uh, spine buster slam there. And, oh, God, he farted. No, that was me. No, I did my mouth. I didn't. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, God. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, picked up. Oh, big slam coming up here. Oh, down he goes again. That's like, what are you going to call that? The concrete breaker or something like that. The sidewalk breaker. And now in a stance here, 
If, if he finishes, if he gets them with this, uh, the cement mixer, no, just kind of punches them in the nuts. I don't know what that was. But oh, well, up once again. Up once again for the sidewalk breaker. I'm going to call that. No, oh, down he goes for a third time and a pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, 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 oh. oh that was closer than it normally gets, folks. Way closer. Concrete now picking him up again. Had to have a sip. And, oh, she just kind of drops him behind. Uh, it, now, oh, a somersault flip there. And a quick pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. Had enough. Concrete gets the rematch against Katungi in coming weeks. Holy shit, folks. Got to see this again. Got to see so much to show. Deserves its own show right now. Right now, just oh, seeing uh, the, the throw of Bob's, uh, the attempted throw of Bob Zombie. Went for a pin and didn't get that. <laughs> what about to happen? And then there's, of course, the brain chomp. Did he, uh, did he, uh, do you think he got, a, he got a little, he got some teeth on that? And that's just uh, working the pad over. Well, <laughs> you got the conquer. Oh, there was a pin there. There was one. There was two. And no kick out. And that, oh, that was it. That was the brain scrambler. And that, they, they, what the fuck? You guys up in the booth, you're all fired. I hope you know that. I, I know you got to have the, uh, I'm not allowed to fire you, but you know what? I'm, I'm close to the board and you guys are all fucking fired. You're, you're not working next week. I hope, you, I hope you like the unemployment line. I hope you like government cheese, you fucks. Anyway, I got to deal with these assholes one more time, but uh, you're going to have to deal with watching the manager championship between Keys, Carranza, and uh, Chad Segner. <laughs> I almost going on the wrong name. Uh, this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the main event here from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the Yinzer Arena. Downtown. Wash your clothes. Get yourself some Permanis and some Iron City. And get ready for this big match, which is going to be this man here taking on Keith Carranza. Coming down right now, it is, uh, <laughs> I want to call him C-Money <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. But it is Chaz Zegner, and he is looking incensed right now. I know, yeah, they talked about it on the, on the podcast. Speaking of, uh, anchor.fm slash HWA rules. But we talked about him on the podcast, and he's, he's been doing his, one of these insanity workouts. And he is, he is uh, pumped up right now. I think a little bit of steroids there, if you, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying. But uh, regardless, we saw him, uh, we saw Chaz in the pay-per-view closing out. Uh, that was, this was Halloween Hell Blue. That's right. Uh, closing out the, the reboot. Uh, series, and we saw him perform the Million Dollar Dream on Aaron Varhola to win 30 days of his servitude. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. Ow. Well, kind of, oh, he just kind of stood there. He got punched in the head. I didn't know that lock up here. Oh, he just, I don't know what Aaron was doing. He was just standing there. Chaz slapped him. He's asking him. He tapped. He's, he tapped out. He submitted. And now, hes I think he's out. He's, he's sleeping. He's on Dream Street. That is one focused man, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen him with that, with that look in his eyes. He's, he's a little crazy right now. <clears throat> Maybe uh, lay off the anabolics <laughs> would be my recommendation. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll get, some, uh, get an idea if that was actually the case. A uh, little, little more recent. Not, not like there's anything wrong with that because uh, we, don't, we don't test for drugs here in the HWA. We just let these monsters manhandle each other. But coming down right now, here is uh, a man not of this world here. <laughs> a man from the dark side, you would say. It is Keys Carranza, the current manager's champion. And we saw when he, uh, he he defended that belt, it was against uh, uh, Joe Petito. Yes, his old rival, uh, <laughs> old rival and nut grabber, uh, in the manager's championship at the uh, the event, uh, the big event we had, uh, which was uh, Horseman Mania. That's right. And uh, he performed the face down sidewalk slam, just a, a seemingly, seemingly inane move, but it really pulled it off here for him. Uh, got Joe Petito with that and pins for the victory. Have a look at it. Just do it. I don't know. He's got him. Oh, he's taking him to the sidewalk slam again. Now he's, he's going to that move quite often. Now pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, he beats him. No sack attack. Nothing. Joe had nothing. Ah. Keys Carranza, ladies and gentlemen. If they, of, all the, of all the managers who want that belt, he wants it the most. He loves that belt. He loves having that thing. Well, he will hold his pants up, too. Because his pants are always fucking falling off his ass and everything. He has no ass, I hope not. He did, did like zero ass, so he needs he needs all the, the assistance he can get with the with the belt. But there's Chad Segner right there. Uh, Keys, of course. <clears throat> Sorry, getting a little froggy there. And uh, we're showing Chad. Oh, there's there's Keys, of course, with the bulletproof glasses that the that he wear that they issue here in the HWA. They're like three thousand dollars a pair, but uh, they're worth every penny because they hold up. And now Chad's are going in for a fucking crazy, just uh, kicking the, the hell out of Keys right now. 
He's a little taken back there. Key says that has not been doing any special training. He just uh, he relies on the fact that uh, this is supposed to be. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to drop both spurs. I thought he was going to uh, cut them open there, eviscerate them with those things. They're now working the leg. Chaz all over Keys right now. Keys not not that he's not, not one to give up there. On the, Jesus Christ. Chaz is like a Tasmanian devil out there. He, he is all juiced up and goosed up. Sorry, I meant to say goosed up. I said, I said what a dead giveaway. <laughs> And now Chaz going around with, with the, I don't know, he's up on the ropes here. And now he's trying to hang keys. He's going to break his neck. Look at his strength there. Unbelievable. He just had his face on his armpit, too. As if, as if things weren't bad enough. And goes for a kick and kind of misses there. And goes for a stomp and kind of misses. Oh, that didn't miss. They kicked there. Keys up again. Now they're working, working Chaz. Finally doing something back here. Taking Chaz over. And what's this going to be? Oh, it's just slamming him on down like a sack of potatoes. Not that people slam sacks of potatoes, but, well, you know. Now, they're going to move again here. Going for a suplex. Not even a suplex. Just throws him across the ring. And Key's finally fighting back. Uh, as, as I was going to say, this was a, this was meant to be an amicable match here. But these guys are really tearing each other up. I, I don't know how amicable you'd be when uh, you're both wrestling for a belt. Uh, despite being... Uh, oh, Key's going for a slam and miss. Despite, uh, despite being in, uh, what is it called, the Empire. So, now Chaz once again working over Key's. Key's, uh, Key's weighing more than Chaz. Uh, as far as, uh, well, body, so, let's, let's say the volume of keys is, is much larger than Chaz, but uh, Chaz is uh, apparently much more dense here. And no, I didn't mean it that way. Don't, Jesus Christ, the guy's, all, the, the guy's on the needle, man. Don't, don't, don't say that. Oh, what is this move? Oh, my God, a backbreaker. That was like, like uh, the, uh, what was this? The, uh, cra not, uh, that's Craney on me. Bones McIntyre with the spinal tap. They're trying to steal a move there. And now working keys over, just working this, this back now. Yeah, you, you want to take Keys down, you take out his back. He's got, he does have a bad back, and now with a boot to try to get things going here. But Keys are really having problems. Sweet Jesus. And a side rushing leg sweep on Keys. Still, still working on that, that, that torso in that back. Now up again. Was this shirt shiny? <laughs> what the hell is that about? Oh, now going in for, oh, what is this move here? What is this? Oh, my God. It got in a, a knot of human pain and stumps on the back of his head, stepping it down. There is nothing amicable about this, folks. This is this is a brutal, brutal match here. I, I, I hope they can get some beers afterwards and shake it off. But right now, Chaz is Chaz might gotta have to dial it back I, at least a little. There's a pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. Chaz Sandler won the belt. Holy shit! He made fast work. I think Keys might have just said, "You know what? Fuck this shit." <laughs> you just stop. You, you put your boot on the back of my head. You stomp me to the ground. I just you know, take the damn belt. Take the fucking thing. And just, as Chaz celebrates there. I think we're going to see a little disappointment on the face of Keys here. Uh, just call it a prediction. Call it a prediction because they have like six animations after these matches, and they always go with this one. But yes, uh, Chaz celebrating. He's got that belt. The crowd getting a little, a little bit behind him there. So Keys walking away. <laughs> Keys, look at his face. <laughs> Keys is like, what the fuck just happened there? What was that? Well, hopefully they can still be friends and uh, uh, keep peace amongst the, the, the various teams of, of Chess Signal Enterprises and the Ascon Coven, uh, otherwise known as the Empire, uh, as they're calling it now. But Jesus Christ, that was <laughs> that was it, folks. That's uh, that's the night. And uh, do we have a do we have a card for next week? We do not have a card for next week, but I think we do have uh, a little bit of information I can share with you. Let me pull up my spreadsheet here. Just take a second uh, as we go to uh, show uh, fifteen here. We are going to see that we will have uh, the, one of the world, the two two championships, of course, uh, that we do weekly. The women's world championship, Morning Glory Hole, is going to be defending her belt, and uh, Fuzz Pegman with the Inner Horseman title is going to be defending his. So, uh, lots to see here, lots to talk. We will be able to talk about that on the podcast. We will have the full card for you there, which you can tune in at Anchor.fm slash HWA Rules. I had to swallow again, salivating like a, <laughs> I'm drooling like I'm like with the, the strip, the titty bar. So. <laughs> But okay. Anyway, let's move on here before I get myself into even more trouble. Uh, this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. Uh, it's, it's been great. Uh, join us here every week. Our HWA rolls. Subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you like, there, folks. Just, just happy you're watching. That's all I can say. So with that, we thank you and good night.